ELAC 2 no go item as per MEL. Airbus A320 family. ECAM alert. Flight controls ELAC 2 fault. Condition of dispatch. No dispatch. Let's see the reason why. The ELAC, elevator and aileron computer as the name suggests, control the elevators and the ailerons. There are two ELACs in the Airbus A320. ELAC-1 and ELAC-2 in normal operations, ELAC-1 primarily controls the ailerons and ELAC-2 controls the elevator and the horizontal stabilizer. In flight, these two computers are interchangeable. That is, if for example ELAC-1 were to fail the aileron control is transferred to ELAC-2. The aileron control transfer is fairly straightforward and simple. However, this is not the case when transferring elevator controls. The ELAC-2 controls the left and the right elevator surfaces through the yellow and green hydraulic system. If ELAC-2 fails, the elevator control is passed on to the ELAC-1 which controls the elevator through the blue hydraulic system. Unlike ELAC-2 there is not two hydraulic systems assisting ELAC-1, but one system which is blue hydraulic circuit. If the aircraft is dispatched with ELAC-2 inoperative, the ELAC-1 controls the elevator through the blue system. If the blue system fails, ELAC-1 cannot transfer control to other computers such as SEC spoiler elevator computer. ELAC-1, unlike ELAC-2 does not transfer elevator control to SECs in a hydraulic failure. Moreover, ELAC-2 is very critical if the aircraft were to go into an emergency electrical configuration, where the RAT, ram air turbine, extends and powers an emergency generator which powers the blue hydraulic system. If you do not have a functioning ELAC-2 and ELAC-1 only available, you might lose elevator control until the RAT fires up and start running the generator. The RAT extension takes a bit of time and losing pitch control even for a few seconds can be catastrophic. Electrical configure system remaining. Emmer Gen running. ELAC-1. Electrical emergency configuration. ELAC-2 and op system. A320, 